Total Energies alongside Mission H24 and its partners, the Automobile Club de l'Ouest, Green GT, is embracing motorsports for hydrogen-powered cars and is gearing up to compete in the 2025 24 Hours of Le Mans. The aim of the Mission H24 project is clear. Speed up research and development focusing on hydrogen-powered vehicles so as to achieve zero emission races. To succeed, Green GT, one of the stakeholders involved in this project, has developed the LMPH2G, an incredible 100% hydrogen-powered prototype. The car features a fuel cell, a 480 kilowatt electric motor, a battery developed by SAFT, three hydrogen tanks and a compressor. To generate electricity with a fuel cell, you need oxygen, which is present in the air, and hydrogen, which is stored in the car's tanks. This chemical reaction between the two elements produces electricity and water. The electricity is then stored in the batteries and is used to power the electric motor, while the water is discharged into the atmosphere in the form of water vapor via the car's exhaust system. In recent tests, the prototype came close to speeds of 300 km an hour, discharging nothing but water vapor. To refuel the car on the racetracks on which it competes, Total Energies has designed the world's first mobile hydrogen station. It can be easily moved all around European racetracks that feature in the Michelin Le Mans Cup, the endurance series in which the LMPH2G is competing. The station can be transported in a 6 by 3 meter container. Hydrogen is stored in cylinders outside the station. The hydrogen cylinders are connected to the container via an entry port. Hydrogen is sent to the compressor where it is compressed and stored at 450 bar in the two intermediary tanks located in the container's ceiling. During refueling, an operative unhooks the nozzle dispenser and fills up the tank in exactly the same way as a motorist would at a service station. Information is shared between the car and the station via an infrared connection developed by Total Energies. This way, filling time can be optimized. Refueling takes less than four minutes. This is twice as fast as at a consumer hydrogen filling station. 